welcome and we're going to get started on creating this lovely sketchbook um, jellyfish which was really unplanned and you'll see it as it's developed sta stage by stage. I did actually do some things afterwards. I said at the end of the video when I finished doing it, I might fiddle about with it afterwards and I did. As soon as I stopped recording, I thought, ooh, and then after I did that, I was like, ooh. <laughs> so basically I've added a border on, so you'll notice that doesn't get done in the video. I've also added in like lots of dots around the edge, but I've also added in black ones, which I hadn't added in before and I thought it ties in because there's black there and I've also done some lovely silver swirly things in the background so it's, it's um, a really nice just abstract fun idea I'm gonna just stop talking please subscribe like comment share and I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you have a go please tag me on my socials everything's linked in the description below and have a good time enjoy sketchbook activity just to let you know the previous video was me um, unwrapping my new art gecko sketchbook it's the first time I've used one of these so I'm enjoying the process of learning it's 300 GSM they were a really reasonable price this is watercolor but I tried out all of my different mediums on the first page when I did my started finish date page so um, everything worked fine watercolor pens watercolor paints acrylic paints acrylic markers liner pens colored pencil the only thing was the alcohol markers which always seems to be the one so this was alcohol markers and it came through to the back now the reason why I'm telling you this is because um, when the alcohol marker does go through to the back the only thing that's really going to cover it is acrylic paint so I just got out one of my favorite colors I love kind of aquamarine it looks more blue on the screen I think but it is more aquamarine um, I think or turquoise deep turquoise is the actual name of the paint from Windsor and Newton I popped a little bit of titanium white in and mixed it up and then I had to thought had a little think about what I wanted to do sorry about the glare it's just because of the acrylic it's shiny and there is a white light shining right down now what I did want to do was to um draw in a jellyfish but just do it kind of very simply just black lines and then see if I want to add anything after that I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do these aren't really tutorials they're just sketchbook activities that you might want to try that I've tried first so you can see where I go wrong and where I go right so I'm gonna have a sip of tea and then we'll get started so I think I'll use a pencil to draw it first so <clears throat> I know that I want to do something with the jellyfish not very realistic I want it to kind of be patterned if that makes sense so what I did was I went on to if you go on to uh, the Pixabay it's basically a website called Pixabay and if you go on there and you can type in anything that you want to draw a picture of. You get photos, illustrations or whatever, and they're free to use, free to copy, free to do what you want with. Um, there's no license involved. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna create like an oval top and I'm gonna make it the center of the image. There may not be, I may not put anything else in. I might add some more, I don't know. So I'm just gonna sketch out basically this curved shape and I wanted to do it in pencil first because if I make a mistake at least um, I have the opportunity to try and rub it out it might be difficult on the acrylic because we don't want to rub out the acrylic paint so I want to come up a bit further I haven't come up far enough there it looked like a, a flat jellyfish there we go and then I'm going to come up and just create that little opening there and come round. Okay, so as I've done the top part, I'm just straight away going to go in and line a pen it because I want to see what I'm doing and what I'm working with. But I can see that I just want to come up a bit higher there on the jellyfish. There we go. Don't worry about it not being completely perfect and level. It won't be. When you're doing things freehand, you just got to run with it. And thing is, it's a real life thing. So if it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter. Now, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 
the tentacles or the tendrils or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what you'd call them. I'm going to do them straight in pen, I think. Um, so literally, I'm just going to draw a line down. And we can make it different size and then bring it down to a point. Okay, and so I'm going to do a few coming straight from the top. And some can be long, some can be thin. I'll try and make that point meet better. That's better. Um, and it doesn't really matter. As long as it's coming from this middle point, you don't want them coming from the end. They've all got to be coming from the end. And I'm going to kind of crisscross over a little bit. Okay, so we can kind of pretend that they're coming in behind each other. And then that one comes to a point in there. Um, I do think I want to have one that's just kind of coming out really far like that. Just because. Because I can. And why not? And we'll kind of make that one relatively even in shape. I want to do the same here to kind of centralise it and make it. Um, symmetrical ish doesn't have to be perfect it's just our sketchbook as I said and I think I want one coming down here try not to think too much just enjoy the process I need to put one of those ones down here that's wider again. Now I will create, there we go, there's this wider one. So the wider ones will have different kind of patterning on them because they're those tendrils in the middle that are kind of very, I don't know how to describe it really. They've got more of wrinkles in them. And they normally come down a bit longer, so I might. I'm just going to extend this one here. Don't worry, it's going to be um, all painted in black once it's done. Anyway, it's all going to be filled in. Um, I think I'll come here. I'll do a little short one. So what I've got so far, I'm going to kind of leave it as it is. Now we're going to come from the centre here. I'm going to draw a little black dot. And then we're going to draw some patterns that are just basically like flower petals coming out and around just on the top half. We don't want it to reach down to this half here around the rim. And we'll do another one. And another one here. We'll only be able to fit a certain amount in, so I think these two will be the next. And that'll be it, basically. Okay, and I'm just rounding out the top part there. So I've made that kind of little circle in there. And then, so let's think. So that's all going to be black. So now we need to put some white bits in here. So I'm going to go all the way across the rim here. And I've created just another line, as you can see. I might just get something to top. It's got a couple of things behind there. And maybe that will help you see it more clearly. Because of the light, it's a bit difficult, isn't it? See if I've got anything else. Some scrap paper. Let's just pile it up. That's better. It's better for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to come round and create a pattern that's going to be white on the inside, or it may just leave it blue in the background. I haven't decided yet. And then 
it's just basically got these um, little sp sort of spark spiky shapes. That's all I can really think of them as. It's too. And then we need to go all the way up. And then up again. Just like that. You're coming to the middle. There. That's nice. So kind of met in the middle. So let's get my black acrylic paint pen. I'm going to stick to acrylic just because we're already on an acrylic background. So we're going to come between our shapes in here. Hopefully you can see. Come around. I may leave where it's supposed to be white. I may leave it that nice turquoise in the background because it's quite nice that that's shining through. I want to leave it. I want it to be as simple as possible, just like an illustration. So this needs to come up and kind of go past the round bit. Remember, the most important thing about your sketchbook is that it does not need to be perfect. Okay. You're not going to sell these, you're not going to, you don't even have to show them to anyone, it's your space. I don't expect anyone to even want to peep into my <laughs> sketchbook because to other people it doesn't mean anything. It only really means something to us because we're the ones doing it and we're the ones learning and each time we do something new, we're learning again and that's all that matters. And we're never going to get everything right first time. And that's a good thing because that's how we how we learn. We get it wrong. And getting it wrong is good. I used to be a teacher and that's something I will always in, try to embed into everyone. It's that when you're learning something new, expect to go wrong. You might not, but if you expect to, you're going to learn because you're learning from your mistakes. Nothing comes easy to us. We have to start from knowing nothing. And that's the same with everything. Right, so I'm just taking my time around these tricky bits as I paint them in because I don't really want to have to paint in the aquamarine again and go over that. As I said, mistakes do happen, so I may have to. The nibs on my acrylic pens here are quite big. I love these pens. They're absolutely lovely to work with. They're inexpensive. Um, I think I got a set of 12 or something for just a few pounds. Okay. So... Trying to work out. So now we have to come up here and just create like this double layered effect. Create some little triangles going up inside those ones which again isn't easy with my acrylic paint pens because they're quite chunky but you get the you get the idea okay and i need to bring this one along a little bit i think just to kind of bring it round to the end there we go 
okay I'm happy with that I mean what you could have done with the top is made more of these um this is the first time doing it I'm doing it straight um for the first time so I'm kind of learning as I go um right so these might just get my smaller liner pen for this there we go and all of the tendrils need to be thick on the outside edges this may run out on me because I've had this for a while now and I think I need new micron pens so these are micron pens they are really good for watercolours because you can do your pen part of it and the watercolour will not smudge the pen. These are completely waterproof. That's why I love them so much. Totally waterproof. So what I want to do as I'm coming down, I just want to thicken up the outside edges a little bit. There we go. Yes, I can feel this pen running out. So I'm going to get rid of that. Let's see. I mean, this is an alcohol pen, so I don't know how it's going to do on the acrylic. It's doing okay. In fact, that's kind of, yeah, standing out quite well. Okay. I'm going to do this one where I have extended the end because this is one of the ones that's in the middle that's thicker. So I'm going to do a slightly different pattern on that one where I'm just doing these little circular kind of shapes just to make out that though that's the one of the thicker ones so you can see it's got that extra patterning in. Okay. I hope you know what I mean when I say that. It has like thicker parts that hang down and thinner parts that hang down. Right. So we'll go over all the other ones. I was getting lost for where all my lines were then. It's this one, and that one was this one. So that's here. So it comes around and comes round. There we go. And this one. Um, I'm actually liking the thickness of this pen, so I'm kind of just letting it sit. I was doing it lightly before in case it was too thick, but actually I think I quite like it. So I'm just going over the lines I've drawn with all of those. There we are. So I need this one to be a bit more like the other one as well. So I'm just making sure the shape on that inside is like a U shape. I am literally making it up as I go along. It's similar to what I was looking at on Pixabay, but it's certainly not an accurate copy. <laughs> certainly not. Right, so I'm going to have to go over these ones with this pen now because we need it all to match. Because my OCD can't cope. But they don't all match. They all need to be the same thickness. So what we do also need is it will have 
these sort of just stringy strands, stringy strands, whatever you want to call them, hanging down as well. So we're going to do a few of those just randomly, let them hang, let them cross over a little bit. So I think that's, you can just, can you see those extra lines? They just help to give a little bit of something extra. Um, I'm still like, as I'm doing this, I'm making decisions about do I want to, do I want to add in another colour? Do I want to do any of the whites? Do, now what I'm doing is I'm just adding some extra lines, some extra line work, just to kind of shade but not shading really it's just another just kind of gives it a little bit of something so that it's not just two lines making a point and then that's it so coming down It is quite late at night so I am getting tired so what I might have to do I do have to listen to my body as I have fibromyalgia so what I might do is stop this and come back and start it again tomorrow see how I feel so lots of lots of stringiness going on um i do however feel like i want to add something in and i can't quite figure out what that is yet i'm wondering if it's like a bit of silver let's get my silver acrylic pen and let's let's get some silver in here you don't have to silverize the whole thing just kind of do a bit of line work around the edges like that. Create a little bit of maybe line and shape and depth. Yep, that's looking good. Okay, I do have a silver jelly roll and it is working. So what we can do is also some line work with the silver. I think black and silver might actually do it. That might be all we need no other colours. Sometimes less is more. What I recommend is whatever kind of resources you've got, pens and things like that, as you have them to hand. Like I have most things around me so I can just grab and say, oh, I want pencils or I want that and I can grab them easily. Um, basically, you just need a big table and around the outside edges of the table have everything laid out. Um, and the key really then is to not have, you don't need to have too many resources. You just need like one set of everything, of every medium. That's what I would recommend. So have a set of jelly pens, have a nice set of pencils. Um set of markers a set of i would go for one alcohol set and then go for one acrylic markers set and you could have some water-based ones as well i really like um these glitter glues i use them on lots of things in fact i'll use one now why not i'm just gonna put some glitter glue dots around they take a while to dry, so I'm going to flatten them out a bit. Might even put some blue down because we've got the kind of aqua blue colour. <laughs> and 
you can see how you are start to add and make changes that it does come together towards the end. I had no idea or vision in my head of how it was going to look. Um, I just kind of went for it. I'm going to put some silver up there. And then I'm just going to come around and put some small silver dots dotting around. You could always put like quite a few together in a little bunch like that. Make sure they're not too evenly spread. You can have little bits all together and then some miles away, floating away. And then I'm going to come round in between the glitter glue and just dot some more in. So you can see it's really starting to come together. Now, what's bothering me is this space underneath. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that, but I am thinking of extending these silver tendrils down to the bottom so they're longer. And maybe doing the same with the black ones as well. I don't know whether they are longer or shorter than the other ones in real life. But hey, this isn't real life. This is my sketchbook. So that one was too thick. That's better. Um, just We're just having fun and trying things out. So, yeah, I like that. I like that the tendrils are all coming down a bit further. And what I'm going to do is make some of the thicker ones a bit longer so that they do come down a little bit further. I started to do that, didn't I, on one of them, and then I think I forgot, <laughs> forgot about the rest. That looks better. It's made it a little bit longer, hasn't it? Okay, so what I think I want to do down here is some more of the dots, but I think I might use the bigger, the bigger one like that. So you can see there's bigger dots there. No, it's very difficult to see with the light shining on it, isn't it? Because it's still wet and it's shiny. <laughs> but um, it does look nice with some of those bigger dots. The jelly roll is lovely, but they were a very small dot. So now we've got bigger ones. <laughs> right. I think what I'm going to do is also add some more of this, but in blue. Um, and I think I'm going to just do little lines on the top here. I did actually do a really big jellyfish malt mixed media painting once um, and I sell prints of it now on my website but it was uh, quite a popular one. It was hanging in an art cafe in the town I live in and apparently they had lots of compliments um, and eventually it sold. <laughs> it went to somebody who was having a big birthday, a big number birthday and they were very happy to have it. So that's nice. Okay, shimmering nicely on the top there. Might do some down here as well. And eventually it will dry out. And it'd be nice to see actually how the glitter dries on the paper of my new sketchbook. I'm sure it'll be fine. Like in my other sketchbook, it's quite low GSM, I'll show you now. It's quite a low GSM, so GSM meaning the thickness of the paper. So I have done glitter here and it's been fine, but then when I've done the glitter glue on the watercolour, I mean, it's made the watercolour fault, but the paper's all wrinkled. So I shouldn't have that problem now that I've got my, my new watercolour sketchbook. <laughs> um, I'm going to come across here as well. I kind of like that we've stuck to the same colours apart from adding in the silver, which is a bit of a no colour really. I'm going to add some more of that silver in and I'm going to do it on those thicker tendrils just to differ them from the other planar ones. 
and I'm not going to be perfect about it because I don't want to be. Just wanted something there just to make them a bit different. Yeah, I like that. It's funny, like I look at it, I can see what I'm doing on the screen as it's recording. So I look up and then I th and I can see better on the screen whether I like it or not because it's further away. So you get the old overall idea. Whereas I'm looking at it now, I'm kind of looking very closely at the detail that I'm doing. And you can get a bit sucked into the detail and then not see the overall thing. So it's always really important to kind of step back and say, do I like the overall thing? So we ended up only having two of those big tendrils, but that's fine. I think that works just fine. Maybe I should have another one in there. Mm, maybe this one behind here. So we're just going to come in and do this one here. We can always go over the lines of the other stringy ones. It's fine. But I just, it's not right. It's not balanced for me. There needs to be another one in there and then I'll be happy. Coming right from the centre as well. Yeah, that's better. I'm happier with that. So I'm just going to go over the lines a little bit and make sure they're still appearing. Yeah, and that looks fine. Okay, I think I will call it done because I think if I do anything else to it now, I'm going to ruin it and I really don't want to ruin it. Unless maybe, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some of these stringy ones a bit thicker. Yes, happy with that. It's only a small change, but it makes a difference. I'm going to do this one. I'm not going to do them all thicker, just a couple. Yeah. And they need, some need to be longer than the others, otherwise it won't look right. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy. I need to stop. <laughs> it is actually finished, so I'll hold it. Let's try and get it at an angle where you can see, you can see the shining. So it's all finished. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a go at something similar. And um, please do follow, like, share, comment and all those things. And we'll see you in the next one. Remember, just have a go. Um, it doesn't matter if it doesn't come out perfect. This is not perfect. There are lots of little mistakes. There's no perfect like colouring in or lining or anything like that. So it's just fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I may even add to it off, off screen, but um, I think for now, that's it. So have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.